Hey everybody, Steph here, and I am going to try a little experiment and bring you guys along. I was wondering after I made the copper oxide powder hearts that made bubbles, could I do it on a smaller scale for dots? I mean, really, when you think about it, they'd add fun, like, texture bubbles, because not only would you do for, like, your uh, jellyfish, if you're doing them, you'd have bubbles to imply they're underwater, but you'd have actual blue bubbles. So I'm going to give it a go. I have some pieces here. They're uh, about a half an inch, about a quarter inch. And I've got my trusty copper oxide powder. And so what I'm going to do is take some, I've got aloe vera this time. And I'm going to put a good squirt in there. And then using the end of my paintbrush, I'm just going to mix it up. I'm going to need some more. This is pretty thick. And really, I've discovered in the last video, and I've discovered over time, is you really don't need a lot of copper oxide ore. Splurt! We're going to thin this down quite a bit so I can make a thin coating. See, that's pretty good. Looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, but it looks... It, I think it'll work. Okay. Found myself a cloth. So what I'm going to do is just take just a little bit and paint it across. Interesting, this stuff seems to be a little less sticky with the aloe, so maybe I'll dab it on. But I'm going to dab on just a touch, set them down, and then cap them with a normal piece, and I'm going to fuse them. This is a little bit different than how I usually make dots, because I um, usually don't do a two layer, and I'm going to, at the advice of Full Moon Loon, try a dot fusing example with two layers of glass and see how it turns out. But for now, we're going to try double layering these guys and see what happens. And to spare you the boredom, I'm not going to make you sit here while I do all, you know, 50 pieces I have. I'm hoping these will turn out, so I'm not going to do like three. I'm going to do a whole shelf full. I've got a 10 or 12-inch kiln shelf with 10 inches of uh, thin fire. And I'm going to fill at least part of it with my potential bubble dots. But once I get done, I will come back and show you how they worked and tell you how the whole process went for me. Okay, so here they are all finished. I didn't make as many as I'd really like, but since it's an experiment, I really don't want to waste my time. I'm also not 100% convinced that the aloe vera is going to work because it's uh, this banana boat after soothing, soothing after sun gel. And the first ingredient it has, I mean, it's got water, alcohol, glycerin, and aloe is quite a ways down the list. So I'm not convinced it's going to burn off clean. Um... So we're only doing a small sample. I'm going to fill the rest of my sheet with some other things, including a few dots based off of this gorgeous glass. And then when I have my results in the morning, I will videotape them. All right, I'm back with the fused glass bubbles. I was going to try and turn this around, but I've got so much crap around my uh, turntable that there's no way that it's smooth. It would move smoothly. Pardon any pauses or rattles you hear. I have a terribly dry throat today, and so I'm sipping on water even while I'm doing this. And I apologize for any noises that makes. But they turned out just beautifully. Look at these. They are really cool. I'm going to shove it up a bit more. Uh, the only thing I noticed is they're a bit bigger than I had anticipated. Let me get the powder off the back and off the finger. So, they're a little bit bigger than I'd anticipated. These are about a half an inch. These are about three quarters inch. Some get a bit bigger, closer into the inch range. And I was not anticipating that with them. I should have, because it's two layers of glass, and even though they like to pull up, these were one layers, and this is as small as I can get on one layers. Um, those were little nips and nabs of bits that didn't want to... Uh, cut cleanly when I was making them. Uh, I am going to try and get some that are smaller than this, but for now, it appears I've got half inch and three quarters inch sizes, which could be fun. I mean, I have my jellyfish here. How fun would it be 
instead of just plain clear dots, my jellyfish had actual bubbles. I mean, that'd be pretty fun. Um, you could use them on, on seascapes and other things to give both texture if you're tack fusing because they're rounded and bubbles without having to cap, say, a one layer seascape. Um, you could do a bunch of other things. You could put these in a mold. You could tack fuse them around the edge of a plate. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with these uh, as dots. So you might be wondering at this point, as I bang the camera, I'm very sorry. Um, well, Steph, how do I get copper oxide? Well, if you're willing to buy it in one quarter pound or full pound increments, you can go online to ceramic supply shops and purchase it. Um, it's not super expensive, although with shipping it runs you a little bit, but a pound is like more than a lifetime supply. I use a lot, and I've maybe used three ounces over the last couple of years. Um, but you can do that. I sell it on Etsy in half ounce bags. Uh, with free shipping in the U.S., but I only ship it to the U.S. However, I did find somebody in the U.K. offering copper oxide ore, and I don't know, but I'd assume maybe they'll ship to all of Europe. I'll include a link to them down below, along with a ceramic supply store that you can buy a pound at, and uh, my offer on Etsy. Uh, honestly, the samples on Etsy, if you're not sure you're really going to play with this a lot, Samples are great because, honestly, a half ounce, I don't have a bag, but this was like two or three grams that I made. So a half ounce will go a long ways. You could probably share it with a friend and still have plenty. Um, I wish I had my little bag here. My mom once handed me a tiny bag of about eight grams and went, here you go, lifetime supply. Little did she know that I was going to turn it into hearts and all sorts of stuff. But there you go. Uh, there's an idea to use your bubble powder up. Um, if you do anything with bubble powder, please tag me. Um, I'll put my socials and stuff down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and as always, uh, have a good day.